Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today we got the second sneak peek for the upcoming Avengers Endgame update. And we probably assumed that because it's a MCU movie, we would get a legendary battle, but this sneak peek serves to basically solidify that idea. The text reads as follows, We won't let Thanos' crimes go unanswered, the snap crimes. There will be a legendary battle to avenge all those lost. So it seems as though this update, or at least the sneak peeks in this update, and I want to make that clear because it's not necessarily the same thing. At least the sneak peeks are drawing heavily from Infinity War. Now, whether that means that the, the, the Marvel Future Fight devs and the, the team don't have much information from Endgame, which means they're basically just making things up based mostly off of Infinity War, or whether that's what they were told to do by Marvel, whatever the case may be, a lot of this information is basically information that we already know. And we've got this global missing kind of screen here, which looks very similar to the screens that we saw in the Avengers Mansion that uh, I believe uh, Bruce Banner was looking at, uh, Mark Ruffalo's character, and it was, it was showing all the different faces of people that were either snapped or missing, and it showed Shuri, um, and then at the bottom there we have a number, and I thought it was a 9 because I'm an idiot, but it's 3,223,610,245. I might not be good at math, but I can read numbers sometimes. Um, so I don't think the number has any sort of decoded meaning. I don't think there's any kind of hidden thing here. Um, I did really enjoy, I have to say, before we get into the, the Legendary Battle discussion, I really enjoyed those sneak peeks that we got for the last few updates where it was a puzzle and you had to use the hyperlinks to find out what they were. I don't know why they didn't do them for these uh, Infinity War Endgame uh, updates and sneak peeks. Maybe they didn't have time, they don't have time to do them, but I would really like to see them come back if anyone out there is listening who can do that. It was a lot of fun. But now let's focus our attention on the legendary battle because basically all we can discuss from uh, this sneak peek, we know Thanos is probably getting a tier 3 and we know we're getting another uh, legendary battle. So the legendary battle should be quite fun because the Avengers Infinity War 1 is also quite fun. But I want to approach the legendary battle from the idea of value, whether or not it's good to get. I can also cover the other legendary battles now that we're talking about them. And then I have some uh, recommendations for how the legendary battle rewards should be kind of divvied out. Because we've had this discussion multiple times, basically every time a legendary battle is introduced. But I think that the trajectory of, of Marvel Future Fight in terms of the rewards for legendary battles has gone from maybe too generous to complete dog shit. So we've gone f on one end from an extreme that is very unusual for, for Netmarble, basically giving away CTPs and comic cards for, for next to nothing. You know, here's this amazing uniform that you want to mythic anyways, and you get a free premium comic card on top of it all. Here's another, you know, character that you want to probably mythic their uniform. Here's a free CTP. Here's another character you probably want to mythic their uniform. It's amazing. Get another comic card. Here's another character Maybe you don't want to mythic their uniform, but they're still pretty decent, and you get a you get a freaking CTP of energy, huge rewards, uh, all the way to now Captain Marvel's legendary battle, where the best reward is hidden and and kind of trapped behind a completely bullshit um, requirement, which is super RNG focused, forces you to play GBR in like in, insanely, you have to play like multiple times a day every single day and even then you could be unlucky and it could take you literally months to get this all because of RNG. It's not even something that you have control over. So it's pretty frustrating that they've done this but it is another opportunity for them to mend that mistake. So going back to the legendary battles that we've seen before in the past, I think Black Panthers is probably one of the worst ones because it was bundled with so many different things and yeah netmarble was testing it out do people want to buy a uniform that's already almost mythic in addition to the rest of the kind of things from the legendary battle the answer is no so thankfully they haven't done that for infinity war ant-man or uh, captain marvel they learned their lesson but addition in addition to that for black panther we saw that uh, while the rewards may have not been as good as Thor's, they were still pretty good. We got, you know, a CTP of refinement for getting a good character's uh, free-to-play uniform mythic, and we got another CTP of energy for getting a paywall character's uniform to mythic. Now, while this is probably one of the most painful things to do because it's extremely, you know, expensive to get Killmonger's bios, you either have to get a mega mythic ticket, which costs like $50, 
or you have to get multiple bio subs and save them up over two months. Um, it kind of makes sense. This is an extremely rare item, so is the CTP of Rage now, and, and gating that extremely rare item behind, you know, a more expensive purchase, or at least a ton of grinding with some purchase, purchases, makes more sense. I'm not saying it's, it's the best way to do things, I'm not saying that we should just flat out pay money every time, but this makes a lot more sense than the CTP of, of, of regen being tied to type six enhancement. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that, but that is the way that I interpret it. And I would rather have a very clear way of getting something that's not RNG focused, but costs me money, rather than something that I could get with money or I could get free, but it, you could literally be doing this for months, free grinding on GBR and never get this. So it could be a complete waste of time, which in my opinion is worth more than the money after months and months and months. So. We kind of had a, dud, a little bit of a dud after um, Thor Ragnarok with the uh, Black Panther one, but at least they learned their lesson. Now, a lot of you guys, in the last time that I did kind of a Legendary Battle breakdown and I asked you guys, not many actually liked the Infinity War Legendary Battle as much as I did, so I was a bit surprised about that. I think it's more because of the rewards rather than the actual stages, because I think these three stages are among the most interesting and the most fun to play um, of all of the legendary battles that we've seen. Now, we didn't get too many flashy rewards. The only CTP we got was an egg for uh, Winter Soldier's uniform, which doesn't even really make sense because he's not a defensive character like Hulk, but whatever. Um, and then we got a, a decent comic card for Iron Man's uniform to Mythic. But otherwise, the rewards were really kind of boring. And I think people were expecting a little bit more generosity from such an epic movie like Infinity War. So hopefully, Netmarble uh, sees that issue uh, and they kind of fix that, they tweak that a little bit, even if it's not a CTP of, of Rage, if it's a CTP of Destruction, you know, just a little bit better than a CTP of Refinement, I think people would really enjoy that. But then we got Ant-Man and the Wasp, and this is where it gets kind of interesting. Um, the rewards for Ant-Man and the Wasp are actually a lot better, but also a lot worse, but there's also fewer rewards, so it's kind of weird. Even though the rewards, or even though the cost is the same, the rewards are fewer. Uh, so you still pay 2,500 crystals as you did for Infinity War, a Legendary Battle, and the later on Captain Marvel Legendary Battle. But there's only two battles instead of three, and it's just eight and eight. So it's 16 rather than the 6, 12, 18 that we were seeing before with the previous stages. Um, but to kind of counteract that, they introduced a new type of item, which is the CTP Selector. And this is extremely... This is one of the best items in the game, and it's tied to a uniform that is not only good for the character and, and good for your, for your roster, but it's also very easy to farm for. It's basically free to play friendly. So this is probably the closest we've gotten to a Thor Ragnarok type legendary battle reward since Thor Ragnarok legendary battle. And this has only increased in value since the recent addition of the new CTP of regen and CTP of rage. So I strongly recommend if you haven't purchased this already that you consider it, especially if you're looking for one of these new CTPs because it's a very easy way uh, that's you know risk-free, gamble-free. Uh, you only have to spend 750 crystals on top of the 2,500 and then just mythic this uniform through Shadowland bio selectors or just farming his dimension rift, uh, giant man, and then you'll get that. So it's really very painless uh, and I think this is the way to go and I think this is what people want to see again from the uh, end game update and the end game legendary battle additionally i would love to see this kind of selector be applied to comic cards and i've said this before but it bears repeating there's a lot of players out there who desperately want one or two comic cards to finish off one of their comic card collections and comics are probably the most frustrating item in the game to get even more frustrating than ctps because when the CTP is on rotation, it's just one CTP that you're hoping to get. But even when cards are on rotation, there's multiple fucking cards on rotation. So you could still get the chance increased card, but it's not even the one you want, because there's like six different cards that you're looking to get. So it's quite frustrating, and I think that Netmarble should recognize that and should reward players, and it's especially important for newer players, which I think Netmarble is going to be getting a lot of with Endgame, to really reward them and give them something to work towards, because I think a lot of newer players, they, they start to build their roster, they start to, you know, introduce themselves to the game and educate themselves, they watch my videos, they go on Reddit, etc., uh, and then they learn that, well, okay, maybe their roster isn't very good, but it'll get better with time, they make the right decisions on who to tier to, etc., but then the, their first major roadblock 
is cards. And that roadblock does not go away after one month, two months, six months, a year. You could be battling and, and gambling, you know, just, just by re-rolling, not even spending crystals. You could be just re-rolling and, and testing your RNG on, on card re-rolls for years, and you could not get good cards unless you put a lot of money into, you know, just farming additional cards through the card shop by spending crystals. And that's not really a good way of doing things. And Netmarble has literally never created a situation um, where they're giving you those premium type cards the way that they've given away the CTP selector. Yes, we have some cards that are available through Mythicking uniforms. We do have a few that are available that you can go ahead and farm. We've already kind of covered those, but those cards are not even among the best cards in the game. So imagine these were all CTPs of refinement, CTPs of transcendence, and so on and so forth. They're not even, you know, they're not even top tier cards. We're not talking baby Spider-Man here. We're talking kind of B-list cards, uh, second tier cards. So it would be really nice to see them either recognize some of these rarer cards, like the Cable card, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy best story ever, the uh, Baby Spidey card, and so on, the, the Black uh, Widow card with Winter Soldier or the Scarlet Witch card, those super rare cards, um, and either feature them in the Legendary Battle or feature a card selector. I think that would be a better way of rewarding the player base and also giving newer players really something to work towards that ties into end game finally we do have captain marvel's uh legendary battle that i do want to discuss because this one is kind of a flop i'm not gonna lie um a lot of the rewards while they're pretty they're pretty standard um the the flavor of the battle seems to be really lost and the basically the only good item that you're looking for in this whole thing is the ctp of regen there's one good item out of you know 18 and it's the, the 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 requirement is just completely bogus so i think what netmarble needs to do if they really want to push type enhancement they either need to reduce this down one stage for the absolute best reward i think stage five should be the the absolute maximum for any character um or they need to just change it so that there's different ways that you can get the ctp now this is something that's or whatever the item might be maybe now this is something that they haven't they haven't tried before but i think having you know more than one requirement and having you choose to complete one rather than having one force requirement um is really the best way to go with these types of things because it in, it makes it a much more inclusive way of competing for or not competing but kind of completing the quest in order to get the reward um, and it doesn't force everyone down the same path alternatively they can keep these in but just have them for different items like if you have this reward for the or if you have this challenge here the type 6 enhancement for the 125 crystals that would suck because you want the 125 crystals, but I can live without the 125 crystals. If I'm paying 2,500 crystals to unlock this legendary battle, it's not really the crystals that I'm working towards it for, but it's a nice reward after my hard work if I want to get her type enhancement to stage 6. But having the best reward and arguably the only reason to get this in the first place locked behind something that is completely RNG focused is really bad. And I kind of I kind of emphasize this and I harp on this because a lot of players have have openly worried, you know, Thanos type enhancement stage 6 is going to be a requirement to get the CTP of rage in the legendary battle. So I think on the one hand players want a CTP of rage to be one of the rewards in the new legendary battle and I hope that it is because we do need a non RNG method of obtaining a ctp of rage because we have these non-rng well it's not non-rng but we have semi non-rng methods of obtaining all of the other ctps minus minus transcendence and patience um, but on top of that i think players are scared because netmarble could do that and it would really suck not only would it suck because thanos is also a universal type like captain marvel so you're basically screwing yourself over do i keep working towards captain marvel's to get her ctp of regen or do i start working on thanos's to get whatever the reward is but on top of that he costs double he costs double the double so he literally costs triple what other characters cost he costs eight uh, level five get grade, grade five universal type enhancement kits to get uh to rank five which is insane it's usually it usually costs two and then for uh native tier two characters it costs four for thanos it costs eight so that's insane so what that means is that for uh captain marvel i believe it costs two uh, of the the type six 
to get her to the last rank, and this one I failed multiple times. If you have a native tier 2 character like Wolverine or Mr. Fantastic or Doctor Strange, it's going to cost you 3, which is 1 more than 2, which means for Thanos it will cost 4 of the level 6, the 6 star type enhancement kits. That's absolutely insane. So I just want to say I really hope that everyone's wrong and that that's not one of the requirements. If it is one of the challenges, I hope that it's not for a CTP or a super premium item. Those super premium items need to be gated behind more realistic, more attainable, and less zero RNG quests. Because that's not the point of Legendary Battle. It's not a fucking dice roll to get the item that you want. It's supposed to be something that you just work towards and you get after you grind. Whether it's a mythic uniform, whether it's playing and getting at least 90% of your HP, whatever the case may be. Leave these RNG rewards for some of the lesser valuable, um, or so, sorry, leave some of these RNG quests for some of the less valuable or less vital rewards um, if you're going to do that in the legendary battle at all. So hopefully these things don't come to fruition and I'm completely wrong and the, the legendary battle is amazing. And it's got really great rewards that make sense and are sensible and are grindable by all players. I'm excited either way for the Legendary Battle because I genuinely like these. I like the stories behind them. I like the animations, the cutscenes. Um, and for some of them, for specific characters, I do like pushing uh, to, to, to get into like the top 10 and whatever for the actual clear rankings. And I held the top 1 for Ant-Man for a long time, but now I've been bumped to 2 and I just haven't bothered since then. But it is an interesting... Uh, an entertaining part of the game so hopefully there's more game mode content hopefully there's some sort of pvp thing around the corner but it's nice to know that there's a legendary battle coming let me know what you guys think the rewards are let me know which legendary battle is your favorite based on the kind of game mode itself and what you play and also based on the rewards hit me up in the comments subscribe and of course if you like what you see i hope to see you again tomorrow take care